my channel. It's Tamir and from my current subbies. Hey, welcome back. But if you're not already subscribed, definitely go ahead and click that button down below to join the fam. So today is going to be a vlog style video. I have not filmed a like chit chat vlog just talking to you guys in a while. So I just thought I'd come on here and just let you guys know what's been going on. So yeah, before we get into the video, don't forget to like this video, also comment, and let's get right on into it. So the first thing is I have been trying to be more consistent with like my uploading and everything. I have not been uploading as frequently, of course, but with my schedule, I do work 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. That schedule itself is a hot mess, like it's a hot mess. I'm so used to working an eight to five schedule for my previous job so having this schedule is definitely a huge change it's something i have to get used to but i am working on getting used to it my business so i am in the process of relaunching my business it's going to be either the beginning of february or middle of february i'm really not sure yet but i want to make sure i have everything in line before i do go ahead with the relaunch and that's really really important to me um, I know I've had a lot of people asking me, like, are you just quitting your business? Are you just going to go ahead and just postpone things and then wait? I'm not getting rid of my business. I'm still going to have my business. I am just taking my time to figure out what I want to do with my business, how I want to do it, when I want to do it. And if you are a small business owner, you definitely know where I'm coming from. It is a complete process and there is a lot to it. So... For me, it's just all about having patience and taking my time with things, which I do not have a ton of patience. If you know me personally, my patience level is very, very thin, which is something that I have to work on. Working on having more patience. What else? Also, with my filming schedule, so I am back to uploading twice a week. It's either going to be Monday and Fridays or Tuesdays and Saturdays as of now. It may be a uh, Tuesday, Friday, I'm not really sure, but I'm gonna try to stick and focus on two days a week. And some weeks I will be filming three videos per week. It just really just depends. So more than likely I will have a sit down video, a vlog style video, just talking to you guys or taking you guys along with me to different stores. And then I will also more than likely have like just a shorter video just for you guys to have extra that week. So you guys have that extra video that week. But I'm so sorry, y'all. This sun is like all up in my face. Well, as I stated in my, I think it was my vision board video that I am really focused on losing weight, guys. And it has been taking me so, so long to lose this weight. It is absolutely crazy. So I gained at least 30 pounds um, ever since this whole pandemic started. So this weight has just not wanted to come off of me and it's been so frustrating but i can honestly say i have not been eating as well as i should be which is my fault and i really need to stop drinking sodas i need to stick with just water um or some type of like really really good juice if you guys have some juices that you like please leave them down below i like strawberry lemonade type juices i don't really like fruit punch and i don't like anything watermelon it's just a no. I'm trying my best to not drink sodas and just remove caffeine my everyday routine in general. So I really do believe that my whole like work schedule really kind of throws me off to wanting soda. And I know that probably sounds crazy, but it really does. Like completely throws me off. And with having two little kids, it does make it a little bit harder for me to do certain things. Like if you have kids, you definitely understand where I'm coming from. I am going to try my best to get on some form of a diet. I know that working out, I'm not big on working out. Like I will try my best to work out. I tried the Chloe Teen Challenge and y'all that lasted for all of four days. I think it was, I did like 30 minute workouts before I was supposed to clock in for work. And then after that, I honestly just completely stopped. But it's not for everybody. So I told myself that I was gonna get on some type of, some type of plan, something to get my body back right. Definitely noticed with not eating healthy and not drinking healthy that I have been like so fatigued, so tired and sleepy. 
and it is harder to get through the day as well like it just makes a huge difference so i'm gonna try my best to start eating a bit healthier and attempting to do small workouts to start off with just so that i can work my way up to longer workouts so i'm not having as much of a hard time actually doing them we're gonna see how this goes but i'm like super super excited guys we did hit over a thousand subscribers which is absolutely amazing thank you guys so so much i just want to get on here and just chat with you guys let you guys know what's going on i have had my business for a while which is why i really do feel like i need to switch it up i need to do so much more with my business but with that it does come extra expenses new products other ideas with that it just takes a lot in my personal opinion it takes a lot of brainstorming and trying not to waste money because when i first started my business i feel like i spent and i know for a fact i spent so so much money on certain products that did not sell i was just over buying my inventory and i do not suggest it at all y'all like when you're first starting your business do not go out here and spend like hundreds of dollars on inventory i know for a fact i think i spent over 200 something maybe 300 i feel like i at least spent 300 on all my products and if you watch my previous video of how much i made from my business between my expenses for like clothing that i bought from my vendor the shipping all my lip gloss supplies that I got from different websites, um, TKB Trading, Amazon, just everywhere, and also from individual vendors does add up to be a good bit. And when you spend all that money at one time, and then you just think that you're going to make that money super, super fast, it does not always work out like that. I had to tell myself that I need to learn to have more patience and not even worry about making tons of sales i wasn't really worried about making tons of sales the sales really just were just coming to me i was way more frequent on social media i was just doing a lot like i was always on my social media promoting myself and promoting yourself is huge when you have a business if you are not promoting yourself on different social media platforms it is really really hard to make sales if you do not have some type of marketing um i know a lot of people use ads for their business i have only used the ad for my business i want to say twice and it was for a very very short period i want to say maybe like three days maybe two days are starting your business i highly highly suggest making sure that you have some type of marketing in place just the way that you're going to put your business out there because even though it is competitive right now with so many people opening up businesses small businesses with corona going on there's still so so much money out here to be made y'all like don't be scared to go out here and make this money don't be scared to start your business because being scared is not going to help you in the long run i was really really nervous to even launch my business believe it or not and after a while i kind of just got into the fact that what's the point of being worried about what other people think when i'm going to be the one selling the products if somebody doesn't want to buy it that's fine there's other people that are going to want to buy it and it turned out really really well i sold way more than i thought i would i made way more than i thought i would for me it turned out really really good there's a ton of small businesses that have done extremely extremely well I feel like i have so much to offer even not with just like bangles and lip gloss and just smaller accessories I mean, there's different ways that you can make money from different platforms so by recording videos you can make money by selling products you can make money like it's just so many things you can do affiliate marketing I definitely recommend getting into affiliate marketing. Links that you guys do see under some of my videos. I state that the video is not sponsored, but you can go to this link and I will make a small portion of revenue from it. That is a form of affiliate marketing and a ton of YouTubers do that just because it's free. It's just a link that you go ahead and put down below, but you do earn a commission off of that link. If there's money to be made, you guys just hop on the train. I highly recommend scared money don't make money that's what i always hear and i really started going by that i just wanted to come on here and just vent with you guys today it's sunday and i work tomorrow tomorrow's monday so i wanted to come on here and just talk to you guys let you guys know how i've been feeling and whatnot there's other things that i want to do as well and other things that i'm in the process of doing so i want to do a video on how to be productive and keep yourself on track if you guys want to see that video drop that down below as well 
and i'm also wanting to do some type of like budgeting video i used to coupon when i first started youtube if you guys want to see couponing videos as well definitely leave that below but i want my channel to definitely be about business finances different vlogs just everyday stuff um managing your money because i'm trying to be big i used to be so so good at saving money i haven't been as good as i used to be so i want to get back into that i'm gonna stop talking y'all's heads off guys, thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye guys